My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to do a full face of Wet n Wild products. I placed an order at Ulta because they had like a 40% off for Ulta's like fall days sale or whatever it is they do. And they came in today. I was filling in the blanks for just some products that I didn't have, but I have a lot of Wet n Wild products. I'm going to show you some options as well on some things that I have multiples of and we'll just, we'll do a face. So yay. So I do want to talk first about uh, Wet n Wild as a brand. Um, it's been around, it's one of the oldie but goodies from when I was young and uh, it holds a place in my heart because it is so inexpensive but with products that have such great quality. So if you haven't tried Wet n Wild or you think that's just a cheap drugstore brand, they don't have any good products, do not be fooled. Some of these products are holy grail products for me. And um, there are lots of videos out on YouTube that you can you can search for, you know, top 10 or top five Wet n Wild products and, um, and just try them out. They're very inexpensive, but they are very good which I appreciate. Okay, let's get started with a few things. So it's like nighttime. So I have lived a whole day in this face. Um, there's remnants of probably 12 hour old sunscreen and this was my hair today. And um, it we're, we had a good day today. So I'm glad that we're gonna spend some time together this evening. I'm gonna start with a product I have never tried. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Serum. There appears to be a sheen to, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to expect out of some of these things because I haven't tried them before. It has a dropper. Does it actually function? Mm, sort of. So, you know, sometimes these products with droppers, the droppers don't actually work. Let's see how this is here. Oh, there's a nice smell. And it does feel like a serum. So not silicone-y not gel, like a moisturizing serum. So a couple things about my face is uh, I have, sorry, I have any kind of skincare, anything that I put on with my hands or even primer, I'll just rub them in so that my hands don't age. You know how like old ladies have old lady hands? I'm trying not to have old lady hands, even though I'm a little bit of an old lady, but you know how it is. So a product that I had in my collection is the Photo Focus uh, Foundation. So this is the original one, the matte one. And I've got two shades because I'm kind of in between these two shades. I have Porcelain and Shell Ivory. I'm gonna mix the two together. I have not tried the Dewy version of this foundation. This is the one that smells like paint, kids. So we're gonna put this on our face today. And uh, yeah, so Shell Ivory does have a bit of a pink, a pinker undertone than porcelain. Porcelain has a little bit of a, uh, it's lighter, obviously. A little bit more yellow, not super yellow though. Um, Y'all remind me, I don't have those screwed in all the way. Okay, I actually picked up a sponge. Look y'all, I got a wet mild sponge. Um, this thing had the cutest packaging ever. It looked like a little bunny rabbit on the front of the, the box that it came in. And I wanted to save it for y'all, but, um, I had to dampen the sponge, so it's already in recycling. Sorry, kids, but it was really cute. Um, so I, uh, again, I purchased these off of Ulta when they were 40% off. So things are, you know, $2, $3, $4. Um, the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use today, I paid full price for it. And it was like $5.99, but that was several weeks ago, and I love it so much. So let's talk about some of the products that I love from Wet n Wild that I'm not going to use today but that have stood the test of time for me. One is their OG Comfort Zone palette. So their eyeshadow palette called Comfort Zone. They have redone it. It's still good. Uh, but if you have Comfort Zone knocking around in your collection back from back in the day because everyone raved about it on YouTube, then I suggest you whip it out. It's amazing. 
we're gonna do a little bit more like that and then let's see how we do. Um, it, it was great. They're new little tin pan eyeshadow palettes that have the larger shade at the top and the bottom for transitions are excellent. I love them, but I still have all of my old school uh, trios from, you know, the little, the little ones that they would come out with that were limited edition and they come out with like, you know, four or five or six of them for at a time and they were super limited and you have to go to all the Walgreens or the Kmarts in your area to go find them. I did that and I love them still. I love those bad boys. So if you have those, break them out, man. Like if you haven't used them in a while, it's a great, it's a great excuse to use them. Say, I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out a moment wild quads and use them this week or pull them out, use them. They're amazing. And I love them. So another product that is um, in this photo focus line is their concealer. I thought that I had one. I checked. I could not find it. So I went ahead and picked up uh, another one because it was inexpensive. Okay. Number stop. Stop. Let's put the lids back on before we have ourselves an incident. Um, so the, by the way, these have like the, let me open it back up. They have spatulas, like really hard flat spatulas. Um, so you can use that to wipe it you know, on your face, which is what I did because no one else uses this makeup but me. Um, or you can put it on a palette or put it, you know, on your sponge or on your brush or whatever it is. Um, but these are, these are pretty good coverage. I didn't put a lot on and I'm using a, a dampened sponge. So that sh helps shear it out just a little bit too. But you can see with those two colors together, I get a pretty close shade match, which is good. Porcelain is too white, Shell Ivory is too dark. So together, it works really well. And because these are so inexpensive, buying two to mix to get a shade doesn't make me weep. But let's talk about the concealer. So this is the Photo Focus Concealer. Um, I have it in the shade Light Ivory. I have used up two of these, I believe, in the past. Has a little doe foot applicator. Um, it's, pr it's pretty good. It's not the most brightening concealer I have. Um, some of y'all have seen me put on some things that are that look almost white under my eyes, but it's a good it's a good concealer. It absolutely can uh, brighten if you've got a bright enough shade, and it can cover. So with concealer, without, I think it does a good job, and I like it very much. So this is a good concealer. So Wet n Wild has had different foundations over the years. I think by far the Photo Focus has been uh, their most successful because they did it really, really well. Again, I haven't tried the Dewy version. If you have, will you uh, tell us down below in the comments how you like it and uh, whether or not it's worth a shot for those of us who like, you know, Dewy or foundations. I like Dewy, I like matte, doesn't matter to me. But um, they've had um, a few different iterations of foundation. I liked the cushion things that they came out with several years ago. Really, really cute packaging, um, really, really fun. Um, you know, little, they were smaller cushions, but that, that foundation was pretty good. Um, I'm going to go in with another OG product. This is Reserve Your Cabana. It says it's a color icon bronzer. It's not, it's, it can be a highlighter, but it can also be used to set under your eyes. So that's what I'm going to do with this today is actually set under my eyes with this. And I'm going to use a Wet n Wild brush. This is from their My Melody and Karomi, um, recent collaboration with Wet n Wild. It's a double-ended little cute little setter brush and then like a maybe a blush brush or something. I've used highlighter on this one so I'm going to use this to set. But this is Reserve Your Cabana and it works really well as an under eye setting powder for fair girls and this will last you a lifetime. This is harder and harder to find. You may not be able to find it in store but you can order this on Ulta right now. So it's really inexpensive and it works wonderfully as an under eye setting powder. It also can work as a really, really subtle highlighter. So if you're not into, you know, super duper highlighting things, which I am, you'll see in a minute, um, that this is, that's a good option. Okay. This is an OG. Well, it's a holy grail for me. Um, it is their photo focus translucent setting powder. I am probably halfway through this. Um, I love this so much. I actually travel with this and that's a huge packaging for me. That's why there's so much in the lid is because I've traveled with it. So I love this because it is good. It is so good. It, um, it behaves like Cody Airspun and like Laura Mercier. So if you have wanted to try that, but you don't want to break the bank for it, 
uh, tried the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm going to use another brush that came out with their Pac-Man. Uh, <laughs> they have good brushes, y'all. There's also like a little Kabuki style brush that they have. This is like their normal line. That little white and pink. I've got some eye brushes that are that white and pink. You can find them at the dollar store sometimes. Uh, but their brushes that they come out with that are... Uh, you know, they're just synthetic, and if they if they come out with really cute handles, I will buy, especially some of the fluffier brushes. They're actually quite good. I'm itching right here, and I don't know why. So let's actually set the rest of my face. I'm going to pick up some of that powder and put it in the lid. And damn, baby. Sorry, my sifter's not working because I traveled with this. Try not to breathe. Okay, it really is, and it works. I mean, if you wanna do the whole velour puff thing, do it. If you want to just brush it on, this can work as an under eye setting powder as well, do it. It's good. Excuse me. It's not that kind of Saturday night. Okay, here we go. It's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend the Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. I have mine in translucent. And I love it. It's also now everywhere. It's a gift that keeps on giving. I forgot to use products that I bought to do this. You know what? We're going to do it anyway. We're going to see how it goes over powder. I love me. So I bought <laughs> these two. I bought the little makeup sticks. Oh, I'm so mad now. This is in Oaks on You. Do I dare... Let's just do it. We'll do it right up here. Is this warm? Why, yes. Yes, it is. We're going to do it up here. And then if it works, if it, if it works really well, we'll, we'll go down here. So they're little, the little makeup sticks, they were pretty inexpensive. Um, let's use, I don't have an elf brush to do this with. We'll use my little, um, I don't have, I mean, I don't have a wet and wild brush. I have an elf brush. So let's use this to try and blend y'all that blended out beautifully with powder underneath. I'm so glad that makeup is forgiving for those of us who forget to do things in order. That actually blended beautifully. So I don't actually contour contour because I'm not trying to look skinnier. Um, folks know I'm not skinny. But I do like putting putting some color um, around the perimeter of my face at the top half and on the backs of my cheeks. That blended amazingly. So the color looks terrifying when I put it on. It looks like it's going to be uh, too warm, too mustardy, too fill in the blank, but it blends out really well. That's amazing. So let's try the highlighter. This is in When the Nude Strikes. All right, wet one. Okay, okay, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Let's see here. I'll just do it real quick synthetic something to make sure that's not like an actual stripe on my face because it is wowza okay those are great let's do a little bit of this because I can't help myself when I put a cream or liquid product on I have to use my sponge I don't know why but I've got that powder on underneath and it still worked great that's amazing. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. So let's talk about some of the powder products that I have from Wet n Wild that I love to death. Okay, I have a giant stack of highlighters here to talk about, and I've got one bronzer. So this, <laughs> this is my bronzer that I pulled. This is in Palm Beach Ready. This was, I, I believe it's still available. We have lots of these things that, you know, Wet n Wild will come out with a limited edition something or other, um, and you hurry up and grab it, and then it stays on their website for the next two years. Or you think, oh, that'll be there in a minute, and then it's not. So you never know with Wet n Wild, really. I love a sale, though, at Ulta that's 40% off. I always check Wet n Wild stuff for Black Friday because they usually run a pretty good sale. And some things that I've like wa I've waited on because I wasn't like married to get it, like I didn't need it, but that I was I would still be I would still love to try. Or that I've waited on reviews to come out. Like, I don't necessarily want to go buy a whole collection like that crystal collection that came out. I was like, 
I, not like, I was interested in it, but not enough to go and buy it until I had heard what other people thought about it and I passed. I was like, mm. same with the Rose collection that they did. Mm, nope. I, I just, I didn't need it. But some things I did need. Uh, one of them was the, I think um, I got almost the entire collection of the My Melanie and Karomi with Wet n Wild stuff. I believe this is still available. This is their blush lighter palette. So two highlighters, two blushes, and they are stunning. The blushes are matte and the highlighters are gorgeous. I needed that and I love it so much. I've used it a lot and I've actually used it on my channel, hauled it on my channel. But another product that is so dear to my heart, it, it is, it was my favorite blush if my house was burning down and I had to grab one blush to save. You think about these things as you do. It is a very strange blush. This is the zombie blush from the color icon. It's a shade shifting blush. It looks green in the pan, cause it is. But when you blend it out, I'm gonna do a really heavy swatch. You can see that there's some rosiness to it. And then I'm gonna just take whatever's left on my finger and just kind of buff that on. And that's the color you get when you use this as a blush. It is stunning. I was, I was like, I got it just to see. I had seen no one my skin tone put it on before. This was several years ago. This was the only color that was in that range. And then they came out with more a couple years after that. And so this is the shade in Ghoul. It looks dark purple in the pan. I'll do, should have done the other hand, hang on. Let me swatch it. So this one has pinky purple and I'll take what's left on that finger and buff that out. And that's the color you get. It looks terrifying in the pan. Doesn't look like it's gonna do what you want it to do, but it absolutely does. Now, I will give you a warning. If you build up the zombie blush, you look like you got punched in a cheek. You will. And if you're going for that look, cool. You do you, honey. You look like you got punched in the cheek. This is another one that if I'm, I'm borderline right now on going too hard. Look at that color. I love it so much. I love it so much. So I'll do a little bit of powder brushing over this one real quick, just to tone it down just a hair. It is gorgeous. There's another one called Vampire that's more red and pink. This one's the purple. But Zombie has the the Zombie blush has my heart because it is the OG. I that is what that's my that's my everyday blush. I love that thing so much. Um, I talked about it in my blush tag video on my channel. Go check that out if you'd like to, just for me to go on and on about blushes. But that is beautiful. If you want someone you know, like I do, isn't that pretty? Who know? I like it's like three, four, five dollars. It's on the end cap at Halloween. I have no idea if it's out in stores now because I don't go out in stores now. But that is gorgeous. Let's talk highlighters. Let's talk about them. So they come out with these limited edition highlighters throughout the year. So they do this. This one's one called Lilac to Reality. And it is silver and lilac and it's gorgeous. This one is White Raven. This one has a skull in it from I don't know how long ago. I've got the little fake Game of Thrones ones, but uh, probably the two that the two that you would choose from in there every day, you can go to the store and buy them any day. Powder highlighters are the ones with the the flowers in them. So this one is Blossom Glow. It is a dupe for Dior's Nude Glow, and then this one is um, Precious Petals. It's a little bit darker, and you can see this one's pink. This one's kind of peachy gold they are gorgeous i'm gonna use this one last you forever i if you've hit pan on one of these please tell me your secrets because i want to know so this this blossom glow again it is it's absolute it's absolutely a dupe and it is strong highlighting if you don't like strong highlighting use the reserve your cabana and then you can uh tone it down a little bit i'm not gonna i'm gonna glow to the gods Mm-hmm. Okay, let me, let me blend. But any of these, I mean, they're, they're so fun. They're so inexpensive. 
and they work so well like they work so well and you you don't have to spend a lot to get the same results on your face like why buy a chanel highlighter when you can buy a wet and wild highlighter now if you want the experience of a chanel highlighter you want the packaging you want the scent you want like whatever it is then do you baby you okay you do you and ain't nobody gonna judge that from this camp but i'll tell you if you're just looking for the color it's perfect i have an eyebrow pencil i just got it this is the breakup proof water that's an eyeliner just kidding that's my eyeliner looks eerily similar to my brow pencil let's try it again this is the retractable brow pencil it's called the ultimate brow this is in medium brown we have a spoolie on one end let's check out the shape oh cool it's one of those triangular shape kind of cool ones let me get all up in here and see what i can do with this i don't have a brow gel i think i used to i think i used it up um i just pulled my milani real quick to just use it tonight because it's in my project pan and i'm not uh not too fussed I don't have to have a gel. Look at the difference in that. Um, I don't have to have a gel, but um, I, I like the way that I'm okay with a crunchy glue down brow. <laughs> I like the way that looks sometimes. Uh, if you haven't thought about gluing down your brows recently, take a moment. It can be a lurk and that's okay. I love a pencil with a spoolie on the end because I don't have to pick up another thing and this really helps me disperse the product. I have a lot of brow hairs. Um, I have some blank, I have some blank spaces, some sparseness, if you will, uh, from things like, you know, piercing my face, but also just, I don't know, the world, you have sparse brow hairs. And so I like to fill in those places and darken my brows. And uh, so I like a spoolie to kind of help me distribute what I have deposited this Milani brow gel for those of you who've been with me for a little while I was using an angled brush to apply it and now I've gotten brave and just slapping it on with the with the gunked up wand I'm very I've taken the stopper out of this that will allow me to get all the product that I want out plus some so I have to be really careful okay we have done so much and we have eyeshadow and lips left to go all right let's see let me pull that eyeliner where it's supposed to be thank you very much so let's talk eyeshadow they have singles that are amazing and these two are amazing so if you are looking for a cream matte to set your eyeshadow primer or to blend the edges out of your eyeshadow looks this little bad boy is 97 cents it is creme brulee. No, it's just brulee. It's just brulee. And it is a cream matte. It is amazing. Now, I have had some that got hard pan and were difficult. Most of them aren't, though. I think I just got a bad batch. Um, and I bought like two or three because when, when I'm out, I go buy like three or four at a time and it's four bucks and then I'm good for a couple more years. Um, this color is Nutty, N-U-T-T-Y. Nutty is a taupe. And it is an OG color from the drugstore that is gorgeous. I have, this is the newer packaging. Uh, it doesn't have any swirls in it, it's newer. I don't know that I like it as much as I like the older stuff. I don't know, maybe it was just softer, less pressed in the pan, I'm not sure. But the eyeshadow palette we're gonna use today is the Ice Cream Bee. Because I just got it and because you can still get it. This is one of those limited edition kind of releases. It smells sweet chemical. I did a, a haul and I swatched this entire thing. It's up on my channel. I did that last night, so it's really recently. And it's got it's got some really, really unique shades. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do like a mint, the mint green stuff. And see what we think. It's not gonna match my bow and shirt. I don't care, it's the nighttime. I'm about to go wash this off. And it's a great time to play. But there are some really unique shades in this. I've done a few uh, looks and I like it. So let's use that and then we will, uh, we'll see where we go. Okay, so like I said, there are some eye brushes that you can find. These the little white handles they have pink bristles. They're synthetic, beautiful, and they work really, really well. This I, they don't have any like words on them, but this little tiny 
angled tight brush is amazing for brows, for eyeliner. It's so like so good. It is so good. So I'm gonna use that as well. And I'll use this little crease brush as well. So I'm gonna start with the cream matte shade and I'm gonna put that in my crease and above my crease all the way to my brow bone. So this palette does have a scent. It's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit cloying as well. So I was sick last week and used it and was a little whoo because it was, it was a lot, did not love it. So I'm gonna use the greens and I wanna put something in my crease, but I don't know what. Let's put the bronzer. Let's put a little bit of the bronzer. There's not really a great shade. Uh, for what I'm looking for in this palette. This is a, a, a cute trick too, that uh, you can certainly use your bronzer as a transition shade. This bronzer is not matte, so it's gonna be a little bit of sheen, but not much. But it just gives me a little something in the crease that's not, I'm not, I don't necessarily want green up to my brow. Just a little something. It's a little bit of kind of goldy sheen bronzer look. All right, now let's do, oh, okay, let's be brave. I'm gonna do the weird color duochrome, and it is pretty weird colored, um, on my lid. Hmm. Hmm. It, the base pigment is not there. Gosh, it's such a cool shade though. But it's not there, y'all. No. It's not there. This is the first time that I've put it all over the lid. I don't love it. All right, we're going to top it with, we're going to do the same thing, but with the, the lighter mint color. Let's see if that, okay, see the difference? Because I do. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do now, but we're putting mint on the lid. And I've got to copy it on the other eye because I have done did it already over here. So we're gonna do it over there and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that disappointing shade down. The disappointing shade. I mean, it's, it's there, but it's just not great. Okay, and then let's go on with the actual not disappointing, why can't you be more like your brother's shade? Which is that mint color, which is so cute. Yeah. Okay, let's do, we'll use the matte kind of rosy color. I'll put that open my eye and put it in my socket. Concentrated in my socket, put a little on the outer edge there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, having a good time. It's just makeup. I need to bust out some of my old trios from Wet n Wild or even the quads, but the trios like, you know, and even some of the, the traditional ones like Walking on Eggshells. That one's great. That's, I mean, it's great. It's got, it's got great color. It's got great payoff. But I'm, I mean, some of the ones that were in the white packaging that were limited edition that were like insane cool. Like I, I need to break those out. Maybe we'll do a wet and wild week where we, uh, we break out all the old school stuff and see what we see. This is a very light eye look. <sighs> I'm not happy. Let's see if we can do a little, let's use the, bl the blackened plum down there in the bottom and let's see if we can smoke out a little bit on the outer edge. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit there. This is not gonna be an award-winning look, kids, but that's okay. Trying new products, having a good time. I think my base looks really good. And yeah, there's there's folks on YouTube that they practice eye looks and they and they know exactly what they're gonna do and they edit and all that so that it looks perfect and they know what they they look like they know what they're doing the whole time and nothing ever messes up. You will not get that on this channel. So uh, if that's what you're into, 
Don't subscribe. <laughs> I'm not the YouTuber for you. But if you're down with like, I don't know what I'm doing and mess ups are part of life, then this is the place for you. Okay, can I just say that like, it's a beautiful shade. Like the green is so pretty. Um, applied with the finger is, is really impactful as well. That's pretty. Okay, blend real quick into the crease. I don't, I don't know how I'm feeling. There's zero fallout, which is nice. I just don't know. Let me see if, if I mat, mat up, kind of mat up here, matting that down a little bit, I guess matting down the hatches, but I'm just a little bit too shimmery on the outside of my eye. I don't know. Are we feeling it? I don't know that I am. I don't know that I am, but it's okay. Let's do an inner corner of the weird marbly shade in the corner. Let me find a corner brush. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. This one, will, you'll do. That'll do, pig. So this is a weird marble shade. It's got like pink and blue looking marble in it, but it's like a white gold. And it's like stunningly bright. That's pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, I'm actually gonna take that up just a hair. Yep, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, let's line with our new eyeliner that we tried to put on our brows. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Retractable Eyeliner. It's waterproof. This is in black brown. Hmm. Black brown. Okay, it's like a retractable eyeliner. Let's see how she goes. Oh, there's a weird like. You know, like your eyeshadow skips a little bit and you have like a weird skip. That's what I have. Oh, it's really creamy. Heck yeah. Oh, it dropped onto my cheek. That's cute. Can we get it off without streaking? Yes. I'm winning at life. Normally I would have streaked right across my cheek like with that. Okay, let's take the cool little pencil along the little angled brush. I went wild and that's kind of smudgy. So the eyeliner is giving me a little bit of fallout, which is strange, but we'll brush away. No harm, no foul. That's a pretty eyeliner. Black, brown. I don't know if that, that I have a black, brown. I have a black and I have a brown, but take it. Just making a thin line across my lash line. It doesn't have to be precise because I'm going to use this little angle brush to kind of smudge it out and straighten it up while it's still creamy because I'm not waiting for it to set. I'm just going to do that quickly. And again, a little bit of fallout, but it brushes right away. So it thickens up my lash line. It makes me look like my lashes are thicker than they are. My lashes aren't like terrible, but they're not you know, amazing. Do I love this eye look? Hmm. I don't think I picked the right combination and I will tell you that shade was disappointing. The first time I used it, it was good. Well, maybe it's because I used it on my fingers. I don't know. I just, it wasn't great. This shade is balls amazing. This shade is pretty dang good too. I put this in the crease and it worked really well. Like it, it, it worked really well. But that gold is beautiful. That mint is really pretty. And not bad, not bad at all. Okay, let's do eyelashes. I bought a mascara. I don't know how long it has been or if I've tried a wet mild mascara before. I don't know. But I bought the Max Volume. Let's see what let's see what the brush looks like. This is waterproof. Oh, delightful. This is gonna be fun to wash off tonight. Okay, so ooh, that's a little, it's a little bit bendy. So we've got a little. Plastic bristle wand brush thing, and it's it's really flexible. The uh, the wand head, I don't know, is really flexible. So that's interesting. Let's curl because I always have to curl because 
I have snuffle off like his lashes that go straight down. My dog is barking and I don't know why. Just, it's either an intruder or she sees her reflection in the door downstairs. <laughs> Those barks sound the same. It is funny how you can tell your dog barks like apart. Like I just pinched my eyelid skin. Okay, can we just, can we not with this tonight? Thank you. But yeah, I can tell my dog barks apart, not from each other. I mean like she has an annoying bark. She has a playful bark and she's got an I'm in trouble bark. And the intruder and I can see myself in the doorway is the same bark. Skittles. She's got them. Okay, the non-rigidity wand head is causing me strife. It's moving. Meaning the force of my lash blinking is moving the wand. It's not articulated at the top, like it's not wonky at the top. It's at the it's actually the the wand head at the base. How strange. Why would you do that? Is that a thing that should be done in mascara? I don't know. Okay, so I am not impressed with this mascara from the get-go. Like my Essence Lash Princess, the instant you put it on, kabam, you've got lashes. This uh, be not that. But let's put a couple, let's put a couple on girls. Let's put a couple of the coats on there and let's see how we do. Let's see how it goes. See if it can build. I mean, it is called max volume, so I'm not necessarily expecting it to make my lashes super long or anything. I mean, it's black, that's one thing. Can you imagine? It's like, oh, it's not really a, a lot of pigment in this mascara. Who would do that? Why would that be a thing? Okay. It is slightly building upon itself, but it's not impressive. Like, I am not dying for this. Max volume plus. Now, could it be a good base mascara to then pile something else on? I use waterproof mascaras like that all the time. The one that I really like is the uh, Essence You Better Work Waterproof. And I use that under the OG here. Let's do, let's do that. Let's just see what the OG looks like on top of this. I smell it because I want to make sure that it's still good because this has been open since Cro-Magnon started. I'm just kidding. It's not really, but I'm getting a little concerned. And don't ask me what bad mascara smells like. I don't know. I think I touched the wand to my face over there. So hold on. Let's clean that up. Oh, it's an okay base mascara. Excuse me, I'm sorry about it. Oh, okay, eyeliner. Eyeliner down here. How strange. All right, I don't know if I love the eyeliner because it seems to be kind of going other places. But that's okay. Lashes are all right. It's okay. It's not the best. Sorry, Essence, you're off duty now. Lips. Okay, I will tell you what I love most about Wet n Wild. Um... And then I will show you a prized product that you can't tell anyone about because it's really old and I still use it. So do not do this. Don't use stuff that's old. That's liquid. This is Fergie Daily. Look at her. War. She's been through it. This is the best nude color ever. And they discontinued all, I mean, you know, I guess their, their contract with Fergie ran out, whatever. And so they couldn't use her name anymore. But this is my, I don't know, third tube. And this is the last one I have. Don't put old lipstick on your lips. But it's gorgeous if you have it. <laughs> Just saying. So there were, uh, there are a few Wet n Wild, like really pretty lip glosses. Their Zodiac collection has some really pretty lip glosses. I think you can still get it the hiccups on their website that was really pretty they have uh, you know they come out with like limited edition lip glosses for halloween or for christmas and you know they're glittery and sparkly and sorry 
really pretty. Um, the one that I'm going to use tonight, I just got. That's why I'm going to use it. But their lip glosses are great. They're... <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a couple words with my diaphragm. I'm not drinking tonight. I'm just saying. Um, but the one that I'm going to use tonight is the new Coffee Cat one. And this is the shade that I did not have. And this is the shade Deja Brew. And it smells like coffee. So I just got it. And I want to try it. I don't know. I don't know necessarily that it will go with my eye look. But I don't care because this eye look ain't going with nothing tonight. It smells like hot. Like it smells so good. That's some pigment. Okay. All right. Uh -uh. They've got good uh, lip liners. They're, I'll show you a couple other shades of something else. Uh, their cat suit line is pretty good. Uh, hang on. Hang on. That's really pretty. I think one Cupid's bow is higher than the other. That is really pretty. Y'all, this smells like coffee. And it smells like coffee without cream, without sugar. Like, it smells like just coffee. It's not sweet. This is such a unique thing. Um, pretty shade. They have a, like, a really nude color. It's down by my computer downstairs because I like it. Yes, please. Go get your Deja, Deja, Deja Brew from the Coffee Cat. It's got a little cat drinking coffee. Yes, it does. Okay, so here are two products that from that liquid catsuit line that are stunning. My perfect nude is Send Nudes. And my perfect mixer is Caught You Bare Naked. I'll swatch these for you. This is not a liquid lipstick. This is not a lip gloss. This is a, it's, I'm gonna call it a lipstick because it is. It's, it's a lipstick. It has the consistency of you put lipstick on your lips. It's not, it doesn't behave like a gloss. It doesn't behave like a liquid. It doesn't dry down. It's like you have a bullet lipstick and you put it on your, on your face. Send Nudes is stunning. A little bit warm, beautiful nude. Caught You Bare Naked is absolutely stunning. If you want the concealer, beautiful nude, yes. If you want to mix it with a, you know, a lip liner and ombre it, put that in the middle. But this shade mixes beautifully with anything. If I want to lighten this shade or if I want to mix it with a fuchsia pink because I want it a little bit lighter or I've got a lilac and I want it a little bit less blue. It's gorgeous y'all. These are fabulous. I don't know how many I have. They're, it's like stupid. I have backups and I don't care because they're so good. So these two, if you are fair, go get these and then say thank you to me later because you will. And this, if you like the smell of coffee, go get one of these lip glosses. It's great. I did get an, one of the ice cream bee lip glosses in Sunday Fun Day and it's pink and it's cute and it's, it's sweet. It doesn't, it's not necessarily ice cream. It's just a sweet smell and it's okay. Um, but these coffee ones are beyond. Like I don't have anything scented like that in my entire collection and I've got a lot of stuff. So that's unique. So there you go. Okay, here I am. I don't have any setting spray from Wet n Wild and that's okay. I've used up a couple. Uh, I like that cucumber one that they have. That I, I think they still have it. That's cute, and it works. It works really well. But it's really it's not a lot. Like you you don't get like a ton. You know, it's not like one of the big setting sprays that you would get from other brands. It's it's a little squatty thing. It's cute. I am a fan, y'all. How cute! My eyeshadow look did not. Uh, it's not. It's not the most beautiful work I've ever done. It works, and it's a cute little lid shade with that mint color and the gold on the inner is really, really pretty too. So I'm, I'm, I like that. But I would probably pair this shad, these shades with, with some mattes from another palette. I just don't, there's just not what I want. Now, if you're doing a pink, purpley moment, that matte would be just fine. It would look great. With the greens, with the mint, I think I would, I need a little bit more of a neutral brown. This is too mustard. This is too dark for me. So it's not a standalone palette if I want to use the greens. But uh, yeah, I think it came out cute. I like I like my cheek look. It's yes, I love it so much. 
Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me while I try to full face of Wet n Wild. I'm so happy that you came and hung out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you, like me, stick around. Hit that subscribe button. It's free and all my videos will show up in your subscription feed and you won't miss any. Thanks so much, y'all. Have a great night. Bye.